So I'll start tonight's cranial nerve exam by listening carefully to your heart and your lungs. Be a little bit cold. Now just breathe normally for me. Nice deep breaths. I just come around and listen. Yeah, about you. Deep breath. That's it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do a sensation check. I'm going to be testing the sensations of sharp with this little tool and soft with this little tool, okay? Now I want you to tell me when you can feel a sharp or a soft sensation. I'm going to be lightly touching your face with these two little instruments and I want you to tell me which sensation you feel, okay? Alright, so let's begin. Soft, very good. And what about now? Very good. What about now? Okay. And what about now? Excellent. Well done. What about? Okay. Good. Both. Good, okay, well done. There's no issues there. So I'm going to take a couple measurements, okay? And I'd like you to just keep looking straight ahead for me, please, whilst I take the measurements. So these are just for my records. So look straight ahead for me. And we're just going to check here. And so just keep looking straight ahead. That's it. So good. Nine point three. Okay. Good. So that's helpful for 
my records just to have those in place, okay? So that we can check for any changes over time. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to focus on following the light, right? But I'm going to ask you to focus your attention on the light that is moving. So I'm going to use two different lights, okay? One and two. One and two, okay? But I want you to focus on the light that is moving, not the light that is still, okay? So the light that moves, not the light that's still. Focus your attention there. Okay, so just keep focusing on the light that moves, good, not the one that's still. Okay, let's see, good, very good, 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 good. You're doing very, very well. I'm just going to have a look here and see. Keep focusing on the light that moves, okay? And don't look at the light that is stationary. That's it. Well done. You've got the hang of it now. Well done. Okay, so let's do a little swap. So on the light that moves. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, and then we do a little swap around. Good. And again. Good. Okay. Good. Very good. Well done. Okay. You got the hang of that really quickly. Well done. Sometimes it can be a bit of a scramble for the mind, for the brain to recognize what's going on, but you got it very quickly, so I'm very pleased with that result. Right, so if you just continue to look straight ahead for me, or if you find that difficult, you can focus here on my nose. I'm just going to look at the surface of your eye. And also just examine your pupil function. So let's just see here. Okay. Do the other side as well, the other eye. So just gently. That's it. Just keep looking straight here at my nose or behind me. Well done. Right, so any problems with night vision? Any problems with your overall visual acuity? Have you noticed any blurriness? Anything like that? Okay, alright. So, I'm sure that you have seen one of these charts before. I'm going to use one of my little pointers like this, okay? And I'm going to hold it just here for you, okay? Now, 
Can you tell me what it is that you can see? Can you see this line here? What can you see? Well done. Okay, good. Can you see this line? And what do you see? Okay, excellent. What about this line? Mm -hmm. Very good. How about this one? Yeah. Okay. What about this one here at the bottom? You can see. Okay. What is it that you see here? Can you read the letters for me? So that's not quite right, so let me hold it a little bit closer for you. Okay, let's try again. Okay, all right, so that is 2020 vision, okay, and I think that with a bit of practice you'll be there in no time. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to have a little look in the back of your eye. Okay, just going to check on the health of the optic nerve. Okay. So, I'm going to be using an ophthalmoscope. Okay, it looks like this. quite a bright light but it shouldn't be too intrusive although perhaps a little uncomfortable at first okay. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come quite close to you if that's okay and I'm going to be pointing this instrument into your eye okay to look into your eye and I can see at the back and see all of the blood vessels and all of the inner workings of the eyes just to make sure that everything is healthy and as it should be, okay? All right, so I'm going to start on this side, your right hand side, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to start by very gently And as I get closer to you, I'm going to just very gently use this zoom function on the ophthalmoscope just to check that everything is So you're doing very well. That all looks fine on this side. Okay, so just going to take a check. All right, good, good. How is that? Okay. So there's nothing untoward, your eye is healthy, so I'm going to check the other side, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to 
to just start zooming in just to have a look and see that everything is as it should be Good, all right, all right, very good, all right, very good, well done, you did very well there, I don't see anything of concern, so I'm pleased with the health of your eyes, okay, the next exercise is a cognitive exercise, but it also tests visual acuity, okay? I'm going to be holding up a series of shapes and colors. So what is it that you see here? A triangle, mm -hmm. and what color do you see? Very good. Okay, so I'm going to be using a little light, like so, and I'm going to be very gently tracing the shape with the light, like so. Okay? Now, we'll do this first one as a practice round, and then I'm going to be adding a different coloured filter to the image to see if there is any difficulty in following the light or any difficulty in making sense of the shape. All right? Okay, so we'll do this one as a practice round. I'd like you to follow the light, please, as you trace the shape. that. Good. Excellent. So let's try the next one. But this time I'm going to be using a slightly different colored filter. So can you see any shape on this page? Okay, that's fine. What colour or colours do you see? Blue and red. Very good. Now, when I add the light, I'd like you to tell me if you can follow the light on the page. Are you able to do that? and trace the shape as you follow the light. Well done. Okay. 
So let's do another example. Now what color or colors do you see here? Very good. Red on red. Can you see a shape on the page? Okay, that's fine. Very likely. You can still see the outline of a square. Very good. Okay, so now when I add the light, are you able to follow the shape? You did well. Our last example of this particular exercise. What is it that you see color-wise? You see blue on green. Mm -hmm. Can you see a shape on the page? What do you see? Very good. Okay, so as before I'd like you to please follow the light and trace the shape very good okay well done I'm going to have a look inside your ears okay just to check the health of the eardrum with my otoscope and take a look inside your ears, okay? Good. So just hold nice and still for me, if you can, as much as possible. I'm just going to take a little look here. Okay, so now do any tapping here at the back of the ear. Just gently there. Do you notice any changes in your hearing at all? Good. Excellent. Let's look at the other side, okay? So if you just hold nice and still for me, that's it. Good. Let's just take a little look here and see. Okay, so if I tap, tap, tap gently on your behind your ear like this, do you notice any change?
good. Very good. All right. So I can see that you've possibly had an ear cleaning and an earwax removal quite recently. Is that correct? Am I correct in saying that? Good. Well, whoever did that for you was very thorough and uh, they did a very good job your ears look lovely and clean, so great. Okay, so I'm going to do a standard hearing test, okay, using a tuning fork. Now, for this test in particular, I would like it, please, if you could close your eyes for me. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, and keep your eyes closed for the duration of the test. All right. So I'm going to be playing a sound with the tuning fork, and I would like you to tell me whether you can hear the fork sound on your right or on your left. Okay, so your left or right, yes? All right, let's begin. Okay, very good. Okay, good. So, keeping your eyes closed, what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to tell me when you can no longer hear the sound of the tuning fork, okay? So I'm going to play the sound and it's going to diminish in volume and I want you to tell me when you can no longer hear. You may open your eyes. Okay. So, I have two colours here. Okay. What colours can you see? They're quite subtle. Very good. There is a mauve pinky colour and then a kind of softer blue. Yes? Alright. So I'd like you please to focus your attention on the mauve colour and I'd like you to follow the mauve with your eyes. Good. So just follow up and diagonally. Good. Okay. We're going to swap now. I'd 
like you to focus on the light blue, please. Just okay, up and up and good. Very good. to be checking your shoulders and your neck and your jaw. So if you just relax your shoulders for me. Okay. Just okay this and this and this Okay. And if you just lift your up ever so slightly for me. Good. All right. That's it. Good. Just checking here. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So if you close your eyes for me, I'm going to place my fingers like two little pincers. Okay your eyes and I'm going to try and open them but I want you to resist okay so don't let me open your eyes does that make sense good so close your eyes for me good okay and I'm just going to place my hands very gently here on your face now if I try and open your eyes just resist resist very good. Good. Well done. That's fine. Okay. So. I hope that this cranial nerve exam was helpful and that you found it relaxing as well. I'm pleased with your results. I will notify your doctor that have passed all of the tests with flying colours and I am pleased to sign you off for another week. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to come and ask me. Okay. Otherwise, we'll be seeing you again fairly soon. Alright, so take good care of yourself now. It's always lovely to see you. Thank you for seeing me. Alright, bye bye now.